Hola amigos, welcome back to Lorena's Kitchen. Cheers with the delicious, not alcoholic champagne, guys. Mmm. And trust me, it tastes delicious. Anyways, I'm back. I'm sorry, I know I've been gone for more than a month, but I'm back with another easy and delicious recipe, like I just say. Oh my God, I'm a little nervous today, but maybe because I haven't seen you guys in a long time. But anyways, what we're gonna do today, we're gonna make this delicious chicken, creamy uh, chicken with different uh, vegetables. So get closer. Over here we have some thighs. I have like a pound and a half of thighs that I cut in pieces. And I take, you know, the skin and it's boneless. And we have a cabbage over here. We have two cup of cabbage, two cup of mushrooms, one small red pepper that I cut in a little tiny slices. And we have a small yellow onion, chopped yellow onion. We have some parsley, like half a cup of parsley, four um, cloves, like garlic cloves, chopped garlic cloves, some butter that we're gonna use heavy cream, white wine, and we're also gonna use some cumin, ground and cumin, and also mustard, ground cum mustard, and some smoked paprika, and also we're gonna use onion salt, and pepper to your taste. And what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna start seasoning the chicken with all this season right here, and then we continue with the process, guys. Okay guys, I already seasoned the chicken and I have also olive oil that you guys gonna use. I'm using about five spoons of olive oil. And what we're gonna do now, we're gonna start adding our chicken because we wanted to fry the chicken. I'm gonna put it more high because I was having it in a little uh, um, uh, low. So we're gonna do it right now in a little high. needs to be more high guys and what we're gonna do we're gonna saute this chicken in batches because it's a lot and then guys we will continue with the process you see i already sauteed this and it's ready i do it like three minutes this side we just want all the things to get to disappear you know so that's what we're gonna do now we're gonna start sauteing i'm gonna lower the heat and then i'm gonna add the garlic and then also the onion that I said it was one small yellow onion. We're gonna saute this and we're also gonna add the butter. So we're gonna saute this for about two, maybe two minutes, okay? Maybe two minutes. This is out there already, like I said, for a, it was like only like a minute and a half. Now I'm gonna add the mushrooms. It's two cup of mushrooms, guys. And we're also gonna saute this for about two minutes. And then, continue with the process, yes. Mm -hmm. I'll saute this for only one minute because I don't want it to be like too soft, but like um, a little crunchy. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the wine. It's one cup of wine, guys. And then we're gonna let it evaporate for about maybe another minute, okay, guys? Yeah. Okay, guys. The uh, wine is evaporated already, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add the chicken, guys. Mm, it's gonna be so delicious. And I also, guys, gonna add the rest of the vegetables, like the cabbage. Oh, this is gonna be so yummy, 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 yummy. I can't wait. And then the peppers. Gonna add the peppers. Let's mix it a little bit. And the heavy cream, guys. It's one cup of the heavy cream. Let's mix it. Oh my God, this is gonna be so delicious. And you taste it because you know uh, the salt, you can add it more salt because you know the uh, um, salt that I use, you know the, on the uh, onion salt has a little, uh, I mean it's called onion salt, has salt. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna taste it and see if I need to add more salt. Yes, I need to add a little bit more salt. And like I say, always say, it's to you guys taste. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I'm gonna cover this and I'm probably gonna let it cook for a, a, about maybe like five minutes. And then 
it will be almost done, guys. Yes. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of the parsley, and this is ready. And then some of the, I forgot to tell you guys that I'm gonna use also the real uh, chili roasted peppers. And after we add uh, the vegetables, you know, uh, I just cook the uh, chicken just for uh, 10 more minutes. And this is ready, guys. I add a little bit more salt, and like I said, the salt is to you guys' taste. Isn't that pretty? And it's gonna be delicious, guys. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna transfer the chicken to uh, this pretty server plate, guys. I'm gonna transfer this, and we will continue with the process, yes. Check this out, get closer. Ooh, yummy. Well, I have already some rice that I cook. I steam some rice and I have it over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna serve myself and I'm gonna put it on top of the rice. I love cabbage, but you can you can also use, you know, if you don't want cabbage, you can use uh, uh, some spinach, any type of vegetable like zucchini. Mmm, this is gonna be so yummy, guys. And I'm gonna add a little bit more fresh parsley on top. All right, guys. I guess I'm gonna do the honor. Gotta do the honor for you guys. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, have a, a nice Thanksgiving. I have my, with my family, it was beautiful because it's all about the family and the friends. So, and I'll be missing you guys, but I'll be back soon again with another easy and delicious recipe. But let's try this one. Wow, delicious. And what I like is the uh, vegetables are crunchy, especially the cabbage is crunchy, how I like it. It is up to you guys uh, where you want your vegetables. If you want it more cooked, you can leave it longer. But the chicken is perfectly cooked and it's so good and so tasty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and I promise you guys that I will see you guys soon with another easy and delicious recipe. And please stay healthy. Let's try to love each other, enjoy the holidays, and it's all about the family and the friends. Cheers to you guys and for love and life. And I'll see you guys soon. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. Hasta luego.